Did you know that the ancient Roman Empire was not only about the great conquest of vast lands or gladiators, but also was the mother of the modern economic system? But in the shadows of opulence lurked disparities and revolutions that dictated the empire's fate. Get ready to embark on a journey through markets and monuments, coins and conquests, as we unveil the secrets of what made the economy of ancient Rome a marvel and a mystery. Rome, from Republic to Empire. The Republic era in Rome was a tapestry woven with the grandeur of architectural marvels and the pulse of a city bustling with life. Rome stood as a testament to human ambition and ingenuity characterized by a landscape adorned with monumental structures. The Forum, the Colosseum, and aqueducts that snaked through the cityscape. On his return to Italy in September 45 BC, Caesar found the streets and cities crowded with homeless people, who had been forced off the land by usurers and land monopolists. 300,000 people had to be fed daily at the public granary. Usury was flourishing with disastrous consequences. Caesar fully understood the evils of usury and how to counter them. He recognized the profound truth that money is a national agent, created by law for a national purpose. Julius made many monetary reforms to stabilize the economy. As he took the throne, state debt levels were immediately reduced by 25%. He ordered the control of the mint to be transferred from the patricians, usurers, to the government. He also introduced cheap metal coins were issued as a means of exchange. Not only that, he passed an order that interest could not be levied at more than 1% per month, which had reached 4% per month, which is around 48% per annum. It was decreed that interest could not be charged on interest, and that the total interest charged could never exceed the capital loaned. Slavery was abolished as a means of settling debt aristocrats were forced to employ their capital and not hoard it. These measures enraged the aristocrats and plutocrats whose livelihood was now severely restricted. They therefore conspired to murder Caesar, the hero of the people. And the rest is history. You can check out our complete video about Julius Caesar's assassination. The Republic's decline was inevitable as economic disparities, coupled with political turmoil and ambitious generals like Julius Caesar laid bare the frailty of the existing system. The transition from republic to empire became an imperative to quell the chaos and consolidate power. Foundations of Roman Prosperity Agriculture was the lifeblood of the Roman Republic, sustaining its vast population and forming the cornerstone of its economy. The fertile lands surrounding Rome yielded a bounty of crops, from grains like wheat and barley to olives, grapes, and other produce. The success of Rome's agricultural prowess wasn't solely reliant on the rich soils, but also sophisticated irrigation systems and innovative farming techniques. This agricultural abundance bolstered the Republic's economic stability. The time of Pax Romana, characterized by peace and stability under Emperor Augustus, brought a remarkable period of economic growth. This stability fostered trade, encouraged infrastructure development, and fueled prosperity. Emperor Augustus and his successors understood the link between stability and economic growth. Infrastructure projects like roads and aqueducts facilitated trade and furthered economic expansion. Emperor Trajan's reign marked yet another pinnacle of Roman prosperity. His policies stimulated commerce, expanding trade routes and infusing wealth into the empire. The grandeur of Trajan's rule was characterized by immense building projects, including Trajan's market and the famous Trajan's Column. But behind the appearance of prosperity, a harsh reality existed, the use of slave labor. Slaves formed an essential workforce, toiling in agricultural fields, mines, and workshops, driving the economic machinery of Rome. The reliance on slave labor, while fueling economic productivity, also sparked debates and social tensions. The economic success of Rome was intricately woven with the toil and exploitation of countless enslaved individuals. The Republic era's economic vitality stemmed from its agricultural prowess, periods of relative peace fostering economic booms, and the unfortunate reliance on slave labor. These pillars of Roman prosperity laid the groundwork for an empire that would leave an indelible mark on history's economic tapestry. Trade and Commerce Following the transition from Republic to Empire, 
Rome solidified its position as the epicenter of trade and commerce. The empire's expansive territories and maritime control transformed Rome into a global trading powerhouse. With the consolidation of power, Rome's reach extended across continents, fostering an unprecedented network of trade. The city became a melting pot of cultures and goods. Rome's strategic location along the Mediterranean and the establishment of a vast road network facilitated the movement of goods, connecting far-flung provinces and enabling a flourishing trade ecosystem. Under the Republic, trade was influenced by individual merchants and regional markets. However, the empire's centralized governance streamlined trade policies, encouraging a more uniform and expansive exchange of goods. This shift brought stability and consistency to trade, encouraging merchants to explore new territories and engage in cross-cultural exchanges. Silk from China, spices from India, and ivory from Africa were just a few of the treasures that enriched Roman markets. Rome's transformation into a bustling hub of trade and commerce post-transition to an empire revolutionized global trade dynamics. From a city reliant on regional markets, it became a melting pot of cultures and goods, catalyzing an exchange that transcended borders, currency, and financial system. The evolution of Roman currency mirrors the empire's journey from bartering to sophisticated monetary systems. In the Copper Age, Romans traded goods directly. As commerce expanded, they transitioned to stamped bronze coins, also known as Aeus Signatum. The Silver Age saw the introduction of denarii, silver coins, becoming the backbone of Roman currency. They symbolized the empire's wealth and were widely circulated. During the Golden Age, under the empire, aureus, gold coins, became prevalent, reflecting Rome's economic might. These standardized coins facilitated trade and reinforced Rome's economic dominance. The Roman treasury served as the empire's financial nerve center. Initially managed by magistrates, it evolved into a sophisticated institution, overseeing taxation, revenues, and expenditure. Banks, while not akin to modern institutions, existed in various forms. Money changers, argentari, facilitated transactions, lending, and currency exchange. Temples also acted as repositories. Over time, banking practices grew more intricate, with private individuals taking on financial roles, supplementing the state's financial mechanisms. Emperors Vespasian and Antoninus Pius steered Rome through periods of economic stability. Vespasian's financial reforms restored fiscal discipline after Nero's extravagance, stabilizing the economy. Emperor Antoninus Pius prioritized economic prosperity through prudent governance. His policies fostered stability, encouraging trade and infrastructure development. Under their rule, the empire witnessed relative economic calm, encouraging trade, fostering public works, and restoring confidence in the monetary system. The evolution of financial institutions and the stability under rulers like Vespasian and Antoninus Pius were pivotal in solidifying Rome's economic foundation ensuring stability and growth amidst the empire's fluctuations. Economic inequality and social impact. In both the Republic and Empire eras, Rome was a tale of two worlds, the opulence of the elite and the struggles of the commoners. The rich, adorned in fine garments, lived in sprawling villas, while the poor dwelled in cramped insulae or modest dwellings. The gap between the wealthy patricians and the impoverished plebeians was glaring. Elites flaunted their riches, while the lower classes toiled to make ends meet. The disparities in access to resources, education, and opportunities exacerbated social divides, breeding discontent among the less privileged. Economic Inequality and Public Resistance Economic inequality ignited social unrest across the Republic and Empire. The disparity in wealth distribution fueled dissatisfaction, leading to sporadic protests, revolts, and clashes between the classes. The lower classes, burdened by heavy taxation and limited prospects, often voiced their discontent through protests and, in some instances, uprisings. The bread and circuses strategy was employed to pacify the masses. Economic inequality was a constant source of tension, impacting social cohesion and challenging the stability of the empire. Struggles of the Working Class and Their Contributions 
The working class comprising artisans, laborers, and slaves formed the backbone of Rome's economy. They toiled in workshops, mines, and fields, contributing significantly to the empire's prosperity. The working class endured arduous conditions, yet their contributions were immense. They crafted goods, cultivated crops, and built infrastructure, driving the economic engine of Rome. Their labor sustained the empire, yet their struggles were often overlooked, highlighting the inherent inequalities prevalent in Roman society. Disparities between rich and poor. The divide between rich and poor, coupled with the resistance of the marginalized classes, underscores the intricate societal fabric where prosperity coexisted with deep-rooted disparities. The seeds of Rome's economic decline were sown amidst rampant corruption, excessive spending, and a decline in productivity. The immense costs of maintaining the empire, coupled with mismanagement and devaluation of currency, strained the economy. Rome's expansion led to the overstretching of resources and financial strains. Decadence, overspending on luxuries, and a shrinking tax base further weakened the economic foundations. These factors, combined with political instability and external threats, set the stage for Rome's economic downturn. Mismanagement of Treasury by Rulers The reigns of emperors, Commodus and Nero, marked critical periods of economic turmoil. Commodus's extravagant lifestyle drained the treasury, while Nero's mismanagement and lavish projects plunged the economy into chaos. The economic missteps of these emperors led to inflation, increased taxation, and economic stagnation. The decline in trade, coupled with social unrest, hastened Rome's economic downfall. The repercussions of mismanagement during these reigns reverberated across the empire, exacerbating the economic decline. The legacy of the Roman economy transcends ancient ruins, leaving a profound impact on modern civilization. The Romans pioneered financial concepts such as standardized currency, banking practices, and infrastructure development. Role of the Church in the Decline and Fall The economic dynamics during the latter stages of the Roman Empire were indeed intricate and tumultuous. Emperor Constantine's decree of tithing, a portion of income to the Christian church, significantly altered wealth distribution. The church accumulated vast land and wealth, leading to an imbalance and scarcity of circulating coinage. Instead of reinvigorating the economy through investment or charitable works, immense wealth was amassed behind formidable fortress walls in Constantinople and the Vatican. This concentration of riches hindered economic circulation, contributing to alternating phases of inflation and deflation. The empire had become economically fragile, with limited industrial production, heavy reliance on imported food, and rampant usury. Wealth was largely controlled by a small number of elite Roman families, leaving the majority of the population in poverty. The collapse of the western half of the empire due to repeated invasions further plunged the region into the Dark Ages. A prolonged deflationary depression ensued, leading to a drastic reduction in metallic money. Agriculture reverted to subsistence levels, trade stagnated, and advancements in arts and sciences waned. Critical factors in the empire's decline included the concentration of wealth, lack of industrial resources, and the substantial influx of non-white slaves, which adversely affected the nation's genetic composition. By the fourth century, slaves far outnumbered citizens, and declining fertility rates added to societal challenges. The Roman Empire's economic downfall highlights the perils of a flawed economic system where wealth concentration, inadequate currency circulation, and false economic principles precipitated societal dissolution. Legacy of the Roman Economy on Modern Economic Systems The legacy of the Roman economy transcends ancient ruins, leaving a profound impact on modern civilization. The Romans pioneered financial concepts such as standardized currency, banking practices, and infrastructure development. The Roman economy's legacy echoes in our financial systems, with similarities in currency, trade networks, and governance. Concepts of taxation, infrastructure, and economic policies have striking parallels in contemporary systems. The enduring legacy of Roman economic principles can be observed in governance structures, global trade networks, and financial institutions worldwide, leaving an indelible mark on the modern economic landscape. The consequences of this decline 
during the reigns of Commodus and Nero showcase the vulnerabilities of an overstretched empire. However, the enduring legacy of the Roman economy lives on, shaping fundamental aspects of the modern economic world. Thus, the economy of Rome was a tale of triumphs and tribulations, opulence and disparities. From currency to commerce, the threads of Rome's economic tapestry continue to weave through the fabric of our global economy. The demise of the Roman Empire serves as a stark reminder of the intricate interplay between economic structures, wealth distribution, and societal resilience, echoing the imperative of a balanced and just economic system for the endurance of civilizations. If you found this topic as captivating as we did, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating explorations into intriguing historical mysteries and phenomena.